Good Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Very well. Mm -hmm. Very well. Very well. Good. Very Good. well. <laughs> Be nice. Hundred percent. Nice. <laughs> and also, you're always so positive and so happy. <laughs> How is that possible? Maybe. No, no, I'm happy today. Why, Otto? Tell us. Uh, because uh, I have the opportunity to, to go to the capital, uh, El Salvador. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, be, I, I was very happy because uh, I come on, I, I, I behave like a quarantine. Uh, for a while. And like I, you stop being in quarantine for a while. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. I I go out. I, I went, went out. I went out. I went out. Yes. 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 Right. That gives you a restart. You feel better. Yeah. Yep. And that's right. Actually, I want to buy some things tonight. I have forgotten. What um, about you, Milton? Let me see. Hi. How's everything? Yeah, everything is fine. Everything is okay. <laughs> Thank you. And you? How are you? I'm good. Everything good. Oh. Yep. Nice. <laughs> good, good, good way of responding, guys. Then I have Juan, Juanjo. Juan Joaquino. Hello. Hi, Juanjo. We don't see you. Hi. <laughs> no. I have problems with my, my cam. But the sound is good. <laughs> yeah, good sound quality. Juan, did you did you comment on one of my posts? <laughs> Are you the the one? Because uh, Juan who said something. Is that you? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> comment. <laughs> uh -huh. comment, did you what? comment on a YouTube video, or it wasn't you? No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Oh, no, I thought no. it was you. So who was that Juan who then? Uh, I thought it was you. I thought it has to be that student because he's one hope, but no. Uh, no. <laughs> That's strange. All right. <laughs> well, I was going to give you extra points, but then no. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to share the screen with you guys. Let's access the platform, everyone. Okay. We're going to work on section 4.5. Well, we did this, I think 4.6. We only have, after this class, we only have three more classes left, and that's it. You know that, right? We're gonna start a new module. All right, section five, this is the last one. Uh, can you read the objective, please, Kelia? Um, the future tense is what we use to discuss our plans and hopes. In this lesson, Learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. English teach Joe Science explains this two different ways to talk about future plans step by step using a simple formula. Ask and answer question using going to and will as auxiliary verbs and practice discussing your future plans, for example, an upcoming vacation, holidays with family, or even your plan for later in the day. For later in the day. Later in the day. Very good. Thank you, Gideon. All right. Okay. Everybody, let's, let's try to identify what the difference between the two of them is, okay? First of all, and then take notes on, um, on the structure. Anyway, I'll play the video for you. Let's pay close attention, take notes. Here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm going to go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program 
to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So, for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to f France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're going to, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you so what are you planning to do for your vacations and maybe you respond well I'm not sure I guess I'll go to Europe next month but I don't know I haven't bought the tickets I haven't asked my boss whether I can go or not and so in order to express that idea that you haven't decided on then we're gonna use these expressions I guess I'll just um, stay home. These are the examples here in the book, but um, going back to our example about vacations, I will guess I'll travel, but I'm not sure where. Uh, maybe I'll go somewhere in, in Europe. I probably will go somewhere in Europe. And that's, I mean, those are just my examples on, on how uh, you will use these expressions. But the idea here is that if you're thinking about something that you're not sure about whether that will happen or not then you're going to use this expression towards the right and that's the difference that we're going to learn in this particular class so quickly before we talk about this particular chart what I would like to do is just present the structure on how to form sentences with be going to so the examples on the left side of this chart in order for us to express our thoughts and ideas about the future with be going to, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, I'm going to say um, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. Okay, That's what I want to express. Um, and so in order for us to form that idea, I'm going to have some sort of subject. This is going to follow the verb to be. And then this is going to follow going to. If you notice, going to is some kind of auxiliary to form our ideas in the future. And then this is going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complements. So like in this case, I'm going to stay home for the weekend. right? So this is what I've decided on doing. That's my plan. And so if you see towards the left side of the chart, we said that we're going to use be going to plus 
the birth for plants that you've decided on. Now, let me talk about things that I haven't decided on. So in order for me to talk about possibilities that will happen, then I'm going to use the expressions towards the right. Now, let me talk about the possibilities of what I'm going to do at my house. And so um, what I want to do is present this structure towards the right, because what I want to do is I want to think about the things that I haven't made a decision on. So in order for me to express those ideas, what I want to do is I want to have some sort of possibility, if you will. All right. And so what do I mean by that? Well, the expressions such as I guess, all right, the expression maybe, uh, the expression I think, the expression I probably, okay? Um, and so that's what I want you to notice here, right? So, well, I'm going to stay home for the weekend, I guess, and then this is going to follow a subject. I will watch the football game, all right? And so I could do the same thing for the rest of the possibilities that I mentioned. These are just words that will guide me towards expressing that this is not something that I've decided on. Maybe I'll watch the football game. Uh, I think I'll watch the football game. I probably will watch the football game. Now, um, with this last one here, I would like for you to pay attention to that one. Um, this is not going to follow the subject, okay? Uh, it will just continue to follow. I probably will watch the football game. But for the rest, you will need that subject there in the middle, okay? I guess I'll watch the football game. Maybe I'll watch the football game. I think I'll watch the football game. But however, with this one, you don't want to use uh, a subject there in the middle. I probably will watch the football game. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your next vacation and make a plan of where you want to go and then within that plan think of all the possibilities and of course use this topic that we're covering today in class. So you may use these questions to help you with this exercise. How are you going to spend your next vacation? Where are you going to go? When are you going to take your next vacation? How long are you going to be on vacation? Now, if you look at, let's say, the second question, where are you going to go? You might... Okay. Um, let's focus on the second part for a while, right? In this context, what is the difference between will and going to in this context? What is the main difference? Any ideas? Yeah. Whenever you, we use will, uh, we're talking about some type of probability of something we're going to do in the future. But when we say something like, I'm going to the cinema, you're saying that you are for sure that you will go to the cinema. That you are sure. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, in this context, there are many different differences between uh, going to and will, guys. But in this context, all right, we're going to be using going to whenever you are sure, okay? And we're going to be using will whenever you are unsure, okay? Simple as that, in this context. Now, what expressions let you know that we're not sure? Can you see them? There are four expressions here on this side with will, what are those those words? Maybe. One of them is maybe, exactly. Probably. Uh, the other one is probably. Awesome. Probably. I guess. I don't know. The other one I, is, I think. Yes. And finally. I think. I think. So this tells you that you're not sure. So you need to use this with will, all right? And if you're sure, you're going to say going to. Okay, now let's look at the position of maybe, probably, I guess, and I think. Okay, so I think is subject and will, right? I think I will, we can say. Um, here, I guess, I will or I won't, all right? 
same thing. I won't. And probably, this is different, okay? Probably, because when it is affirmative, you're going to say, I probably, I probably will. And if it's negative, you say, I, no, sorry, this is, I will probably in the verb. If it's negative, you're going to say, I probably won't. Okay. So the position of probably changes depending on whether it is affirmative or negative. All right. And maybe, maybe, and when you say maybe, <laughs> I, okay. Is that clear? All right. For example, I think this is the most confusing one, the one at the bottom, right? Let's make a, an affirmative one. So imagine if I ask you, what are you going to do next week? Let's give me an affirmative example, affirmative answer. What are you going to do next week? You will say, I will probably work. Work, okay. Negative. Negative of this same sentence? I won't, I won't probably work. No, I probably, I probably, I probably won't, will not probably won't, won't, work. won't work. work. Yes, this is important because if you take a test, guys, at the end of the course, you need to know where the position goes, all right? So make sure you're using this. Now, I'm going to send you some questions, all right? Take a look. I'm sending them right now. And, for example, the first one says, what kind of neighborhood will you live in when you get older? Okay, check what's up. And if you're sure of where you're going to live, answer with going to. But if you're not sure, say maybe, probably, I guess. Okay. In my case, when I'm older, let me see. I, I... Maybe, maybe I will live in Australia. I don't know. I know what kind of neighborhood it says, right? Did you get the image, by the way? No, right? Hold it. All right. No, no, no. It will, it will be maybe I will live in a um, smart building. Do you know those buildings that they're going to create in the future? With a garden and kind of like a city, uh -huh. Fabiola, you know. <laughs> so I will probably live in one of those, all of us. But I'm not sure, so I cannot say going to, right? So I'm saying maybe, okay? And another question says, let me see. It says, what will cities be like 50 years from now? Think about how these will change. Make two or three predictions. All right. So changes about crime in El Salvador. Um, I would say, I would say, I guess crime, because you need the subject, right? I'm going to type subject plus and subject plus. I guess crime, who can give me a, a prediction you're not sure about? I guess crime will. Decrease or increase? What do you think? Will decrease, I guess. Decrease. There is not too much people um, on the streets. Uh -huh. So there is no, there is no who to uh, hurt to, I guess. They don't have chances of hurting it. Okay, but if you're not sure, you say maybe. I guess crime will decrease. Okay, is that clear? Are you ready to practice? Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's practice in groups of three. Try to practice both, okay? The one where you're sure and the one where you're not certain of it. All right. In groups of three. Guys, use the microphone, please. Thank you. 
All right, accept the invitation. Here we go. And check the questions on WhatsApp, okay? We're going to we have to practice some questions. Those are on WhatsApp. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. We have to practice some, some questions that go on WhatsApp. So we can create a, a order. Uh, I ask you to floor, ask ask Flor, Flor ask Alvaro and Alvaro ask Juanjo and Juanjo ask ask me. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect. The first question is when will you graduate, Flor? Excuse me? Yes. Uh, when will you graduate? I I see I probably graduate in the next year. Say I will probably graduate. I will probably. I will probably graduate just graduate. the next week the next year. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay and you uh -huh. for last. When will you graduate? Um, I graduate if you're sure I graduate I graduate um, I yeah Fabio, no. I'm going to graduate or I think I guess I, I will probably I can invent it <laughs> <laughs> because I graduated in the past. Okay, let's say from this course. When do you think you were going uh, to graduate? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to graduate this. Ever meet aliens? And what will they meet in Belay? <laughs> What do you think about it? Um, I think um, I think the you the humans uh, won't ever meet aliens. I think I agree with you. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Why do you think that? It's impossible. <laughs> How? How is it impossible? Because I think the aliens that thing exist. <laughs> I uh, think aliens so. don't exist. Don't exist. Yes. Okay. What about you, Catherine? Do you agree? Is that the yes, reason? Yes, I agree with her. Yes, I agree with her. Okay. Awesome. Very good. What's the next question? What will the meeting be like? Sergio? In El Salvador, in the future, maybe in five years. I guess. I believe that crime will, will be uh, uh, will be um, will 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 decrease 
will decree for for next five years. For next five years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I think about crime is that. Uh, because. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, right. All right. Yeah. Well, crime is gonna be kind of different, also, as I told you about people's life back again, right? People's life is, gonna, is not gonna be the same. So I, what I think about crime is that maybe what is gonna happen is there is going to have smarter people than me. You know what I mean? Like people's gonna are like, going to learn. Are yeah, people. Are. People is going to learn going new to ways to make crime. Sorry. People but just just do the 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 sentence, Mr. Gerber. Please, Mr. It's nice to hear your your your, your um, um, It's mean, okay. It's okay, Santiago. No, your information, right. yeah, but 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 I think if if we do a long, you know. Uh, commencement, uh, we don't want to practice. I mean, uh, All right, please. let's go ahead and go to the next one then. So Can what do you think about bending? Okay, we are talking about crime. And then it's advertising, huh? No, you don't need to uh, discuss all of those. You can go to the next one. Let me see. Mm. Okay, for example, it says, when will you graduate? So you don't need to go pollution, crime, advertising, just two of them. Next one is, when will you graduate? I guess graduate in Six months. I have to say, I guess I will. I will graduate. Graduate in six months. Uh huh. Very good. What about you, Ramiro? Hi. Ramiro, is Ramiro participating? And you, Herbert? We're talking about advertising, right? No, no. When will you graduate? That's the question. Oh, Check when will I graduate? Um, yeah. I'm going to, well, I will graduate in 2025, maybe, because I may not going to be able to continue with my business administration part too low, so because of the coronavirus. So I'm um, going to graduate. I'm going, going to, graduate. I'm going to graduate in 2025. All right, great. Santiago? Those are future and environment friendly. Okay. Um. I think the house will be more smart in the future. They will be smarter. Yes, yes. Okay. Smarter in the future. Very good. Smart in the future. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the next question. Where will we or energy when we run out of oil. What do you think about Kalida? Um, let me see. Where will we get we get our energy when we run out of oil? Yes. Do you guys know the meaning of run out of? No. I run don't out know. of is cuando se nos acabe. When we run out of oil. Se nos acabe el aceite. Mm -hmm. um, uh, puede, puede, puede pensar que se refiere al petróleo. El... Yep, exactly. That's what it means. Oh, okay. I guess um, we get, I, I guess we will get
pollutants, pollutants, the greatest pollutants in the pollution is contamination, contaminante sería como pollution. Okay. What question are you discussing? And the last one. What will India and China affect the environment in the future? Mm, what a complicated question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. Um, I hope you were able to practice both, well and born too. I think I listened to everyone, let me see. Yeah, I think I heard everyone participate. So, um, we're going to practice this dialogue. Listen to a pronunciation, all right, mm, you can see it. All right. Uh, maybe here, if somebody could take a screenshot, please, and share it. I'm going to zoom it as much as I can. And here's the dialogue. Can somebody take a screenshot of this, please? We're going to practice that. All right. Um, repeat after me, but with the microphone muted. All right. Don't unmute the microphone. So, say. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? Great. I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Great, everybody repeating, awesome. Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why did you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. All right. I would like you to practice this dialogue and when you finish, answer the questions. Okay, first practice it. And the second time, I would like you to modify the dialogue. So instead of saying, uh, I'm gonna go to the beach, say, I'm going to imagine guys, don't say I'm gonna stay home, all right? I know you're going to stay home. <laughs> But imagine you will do something different. Okay, so the first time, practice it as it is, and then modify it, okay? So three things, practice it as it is, modify it, and finally do the exercise underneath. Is that clear? Yeah? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to recreate the room so that you can practice in pairs or small groups of well, you can practice in pairs. Okay, guys, please be prompt to accept the invitation. Don't take too long, all right? And in case that there's nobody with you, inform me. Don't just wait there, all right? No, tell me. Send me a message and say, hey, teacher, nobody's connecting with me, okay? Accept the invitation, please. Here we go. There it is. I sent it.
you. Hey, why don't you come with us? By closing for a couple of weeks, we are going to go surfing every day. Sounds like. Uh, do you meet it? Do you meet it? Uh, I love to. I bring my surfboard. My surfboard. Say, do you mean it? Surfboard. Yes. Okay, and let's change. Okay. I, I am Nancy. You are. Hi, Julia. Okay. Yes. And so ex excited. We have to week up to do to do. I am not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watching a few DVDs. What's about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sound like fun. Say, why Sorry. don't you come with us? Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Sounds like? Fun. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Fun. Yes. Go, she going to go to the beach with her cousin. Mm -hmm, really, the number one. Okay. Okay, number three. What might Julia do with her cousin? Uh, go fishing. Because if you hear the the, mm -hmm. the conversation in the audio, so she said that the, she's cousin like to fish. Uh -huh. Okay, the number four. I am, I am I am booked. I am booked for this weekend. I am going to camping. They they will go to camping. Okay. Huh? Okay. The number five. Is I I am going to go camping. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they say I am booked for this weekend. I am going to go camping. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm booked. <clears throat> I'm booked. I'm booked. Yes, that's the pronunciation. Uh, for this weekend. Okay. Surfing. They will. They will go surfing. Go fishing. No, Julia. Julia going to go surfing. Every day. Uh huh. But among the three options, I choose go fishing. Number four. Okay. I'm a booked for this weekend. I am going to go camping. Repeat the question. The number four. Uh huh. I am booked for this weekend. I am going to go camping. Number five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, could you finish the exercise? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Did you modify the dialogue? Because I didn't hear many of you modifying it. Were you able to do that? Yes, it's a complicated. <laughs> it was complicated. 
All right. Well, I'm sending you a, an image with information here on the difference between will and going to. Okay. So let's learn what the difference is before we continue practicing. All right. So here's some things. Okay. We're going to use either will, hold on, going to or will, right? For predictions, which one do you think I'm going to use for predictions? Going to or will? What do you think? Going to is sure, when you are sure. Yeah, what, that is one of the things. When you're sure. Will is a prediction. And here is when you're not sure. Um, but what else? There are other differences. If you're going to make predictions, you're going to use going to or will. Um, well, actually, both. predictions okay. will. You're going to use ah, okay. going to for predictions with evidence. Okay, and you're going to use will here for predictions without evidence. Without evidence. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if you notice, will is tricky, right? Because it's like when it's not certain, you're going to choose that one. So you have two differences here. For example, what does it mean? Imagine I see, um, I hope we don't get a bad image here, but take a look. We're gonna look at this, this lady right here. And I'm gonna say, hey, you know, what is your prediction about this, this woman? One where you have evidence. That, uh, she is pregnant. She will have a She's baby. Pregnant. She will, she will have, have a baby. baby or she is going to have a baby. She's going She's to, going have, to a have a baby. She's going, going to have a baby. Going. <laughs> yeah. She's going to have she, a baby. Yeah, Tamara will cause that, right? No. It's definitely a baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's so She's going to have. Okay, she is going to have a baby. She's going to have a baby because you have evidence, right? Okay, now or an example. She will become. She going to become mod. She is going to become mm. a mother. mother. Yes, you can say that. And you have evidence. What is your evidence? The big belly she has, right? Now I'm going to, Alvaro, imagine. I'm going to say, Alvaro, I'm going to read this bulb, the magic bulb, okay? Let me see what your future is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but this is an example. And I say, you will be rich. Alvaro. Okay. Do I have evidence of that, guys? I just changed the bulbs tonight, so I had this here. Do I have evidence that he will be rich, or am I saying it without any evidence? No evidence. No evidence, right? It's a prediction without evidence. Exactly. So if I say Alvaro will be rich, well, there's no evidence, right? So then I use will. Now, have you heard that song? The one that says, I don't know. The one that says, ah, I don't want to sing this song. <laughs> it says, I will always love you. Love you. Somebody sing it, please. I'm not doing this. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. <laughs> no, but what is it? Yes. Uh, when the person says, hey, I will probably. always love you. What is that? A it's a promise? It's a promise. Very promise. good. So promises we're going to use with will or going to? Will. Will. Will, yes. Yeah. So candidates, political candidates, they also say, and we will change the country. We will not steal money from you. Right? Uh, the country will be the best one. Alcanza cuando no. Okay, no, not anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> so for promises. <laughs> for promises. <laughs> okay, it's true, teacher. <laughs> you will have, you you will be a, a, an candidate. excellent politics. <laughs> you, you, you will be our great candidate to, to president. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to run for presidency later. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So for promises, we're going to use... this moment, I'm not sure. <laughs> we're going to use will, okay? Now, imagine somebody goes. 
Right? And you say, oh, I'm going to answer the door or I will answer the door. What are you going to say? Uh, I'm going to. Yeah, remember this is for plans, right? Did you plan that? Somebody knocking on the door? And you say, I'm going to open the door or I will open the door. I will open the door. I'm going to. Um, I am going to, going, going to. to. Going to. No, you're going to use will actually because no. for quick decisions. I will open. Use will. Okay, I will open. And the with reason? Plans, with, with time, you're going to use going to. Okay. So these are the main differences. Is there something else in the image that I'm leaving behind? I express yeah, prediction you, you future, future facts. To happen for express ah, okay when something is about to happen you're gonna use about going to. the weather going to when something is going to happen no the weather if you have evidence going to if you don't have evidence well so usually you predict the weather based on evidence so you use going to ah, okay right like urbina he has evidence i think is that his name? <laughs> so he has evidence, supposedly. The sun, a future fact. Okay, and something is about to happen, and this, a future fact. Something future you fact. know that is definitely true, right? So it will be tomorrow. It will be um, Wednesday. It's a future fact. It doesn't change. So you say it will be Wednesday tomorrow. Okay. So these are the differences, but practically speaking, you can use either of them. All right. You can use will or going to, and it doesn't matter. But if you want to be very specific on the tense you're choosing or if you're taking an exam, you have to know uh, these differences. All right. Let's do an exercise pretty quickly. I'm going to send you a link. Okay, I'll send you a link. Let's do some exercises in groups of three, okay? I'll send you a link, but give me one minute because I don't have it, I need to send it to you. And okay. Okay. accept vacation, please. Okay. So the first one says, I haven't got my phone. That's okay. Um, I'm going to lend you mine or I'll lend yes. you mine. Um, I haven't got my phone. I think the right one is, I'm going to lend. I'm going, I'm going to, to lend, lend you mine. Right. Yes, right, I think that's so. okay. All right, let's go with the second one then. It's Julia's birthday. Yeah, go ahead. Herbert, uh, when you're not speaking, could you mute the microphone, please? Because there's mu loud music playing. Who has music? Uh, Herbert. Okay. Yeah. So somebody else will have to read the question then. That's good. Miguel or Catherine. Okay, the number second. The first one is going to. I'm going to lend. You're going to lend. Lend yes. me your mind. I think so. Julia, it's Julia's birthday next week. So. So. Sure. Lo pasa que el going to se utiliza para cuando hay evidencia, pues. Sí. Y la evidencia es que el fin de semana va a ser el. Oh. The second, it's Julia Verde 
next week. So we are going to buy her some flowers. Yes. Okay. Number three. Will you lend me ten pounds? I promise. I will give give it back tomorrow. I will give. Yes. It. Okay. Number four. We'll have a barbecue tomorrow. No, we're going to have a barbecue tomorrow. It's all planning, so I hope it won't. Oh, okay. It won't rain. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're going to have one. Okay. Number five. Jean is staring. Yes. Or they will like. Now let look. Look. The watch. The coach is going to list run or well miss it. Okay. Check it. Check the answer. The answer. Okay. Who finished? The majority did. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you some answers because we need to finish now. So the first one says, I, I don't have my phone or I haven't got my phone. That's okay, I'll lend you mine. It's a quick decision, so you're using well, okay? Next one says, it's Julia's birthday next week. So since we're planning it and you have time, it's going to, right? Will you lend me 10 pounds? I promise, I promise, what do we use? Will. Will, exactly. Uh, Will. We're going to have a barbecue tomorrow. It's all planned, so if you have a plan, it's, Going to. Going to. It's a plan. Yes. Going to. Jim starting university tomorrow. What is he going to study? Because it's a plan. Going to. Yes. You won't like that film. It's very frightening. You choose another one. This is a prediction with no evidence. Okay. Will. Yes. In number eight, for example, says, look, the coach is going to leave. Ron or will miss it. It's something that is about to happen. So it's going to happen in a little bit. Okay. So you say going to. And number seven, do you think they'll like? Because you're making a prediction with no evidence. Okay. Very hard to tell the difference sometimes. But um, we'll continue practicing tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much, guys, for being in class. Thank you, teacher. Have a beautiful Thank night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Thank Good you, night, teacher. Everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.